have to use a charm on. You have to write it in uh, Java. You can use whatever the password, pass API in Java, but you have to write your code. Okay, let's uh, go through the assignment. So basically, this will cover all the elements, all four things. Okay. And uh, this is the instruction. You need to uh, create your XML document, SSL, SSD, and the Java, four things, okay? And then create a one zip file, okay? And name it like your WID underscore assignment two, okay? And send it to, uh, okay, that is the way of uh, submission. And uh, the deadline would be uh, 13 uh, September, which is uh, next Thursday. Uh, the assignment consists of like uh, you have this scenario. You can uh, this is flexible. Okay, you can uh, here we, uh, I said like uh, this particular uh, store will have computers, furniture, and accessories. Okay? But you can have more if you want to. Okay, and uh, here I have like name, purchase date, book value, and the ID as the properties. But if you feel that computers will have this, uh, furnitures may have that, like the properties, you can add. Okay? And uh, try to use uh, all the, the maximum number of uh, constructs from the HSD, from the HSL. Okay? Uh, and uh, so what you have to do is, you just need to define a schema yourself. Okay? So schemas. If I define this schema, that basically change from some somebody else, right? So I will have multiple schemas from you guys. Okay. For for your schema, you need to define the the HSD. That is the first one. First uh, task, you need to define the SSD. You can use this name space, which is going to be a unique for everybody. And then you can uh, you need to uh, have a XML file uh, <coughs> comprised to your XSD, put dump data to the XML. Okay. Uh, according to your properties, you define more properties, you have to have the data <coughs> in the XML document. Uh, and then, uh, next one is to use XSLT to convert this XML document into a HTML format. Okay. You can use uh, uh, whatever, like, uh, Table or whatever the format in HTML. Okay. I just need to uh, know that you know how to use XSL, you know how to adapt the XML document to XSL, you know how to adapt XSD to XSL, XSL like that. Okay. If you just do a Google to uh, search for validators, XSD validators, you will get a bunch of things. You can use any of these things. Okay. Uh, so finally, then you need to write a Java program. Uh, to get the data, like the, the items, which is purchase date greater than uh, 20th of August, and the current book value less than 20. So please make sure that you have data according to this criteria in your dump file, the, the XML file where you have dummy data. Uh, make sure that uh, once I run the program, I will get some data. Uh, you can write the results of the Java program into file or console. I don't mind. 
you can just have some system of internal document uh, lines, or you can write it into a, a file. Uh, you can use any of the ID you are familiar with, NetBeans or Eclipse ID. Okay, those are the two things. Uh, I prefer if you can use, if you are familiar with Eclipse, just go with it. Otherwise, if you are not, uh, you can use NetBeans or Firefox. Okay. Uh, is everything clear in the assignment? So if you need any help on the material or the assignments, uh, meaning uh, understanding the assignment, uh, you can email me. So uh, depending on my availability, I will, uh, if you if multiple people uh, uh, email me, uh, depending on the, uh, the availability, I will ask a group of people to come in this time and group of people to come in that time. So uh, the material that I covered today will be posted this after lecture into the video group into all the the files, all the examples, all the uh, things, slides and the examples, and uh, video will be uh, posted shortly yeah. again, like the site uh, like that Okay, so everybody comfortable in this one? Okay. <laughs>